Hello, Charlotte. Hey, Hedy. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. How have you been doing? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm absolutely freezing, to be honest. Uh, mm. After this podcast, I am going to go and climb under a big duvet, I think. Oh, I don't blame you. But you didn't get, so you didn't get um, an electric blanket yet? Well, in all honesty, I would love one, but I think it's on the Christmas list, like I said. So now uh... I have to wait for Christmas for someone to give it to me. Uh, yeah. Otherwise I'll have duplicates. But I mean, the more the merrier. <laughs> so <laughs> I've only got so much body to put an electric blanket on is the thing. I'm I mean... not sure if the effect is cumulative. <laughs> you never know, but um, yeah, it's yeah. it's been freezing too like I've been living under my electric blanket for the past week and even yesterday I had to yesterday and Tuesday actually I had to actually leave my house despite the snow and ice I had to trek make the trek to university as I had my final seminar of the term and oh my god I was freezing it's so so cold um my like nose was just like dripping as soon as I left the house sorry such a gross image but it's mm. like, it's cold. It is cold. And mm. I forgot, I do forget, you are currently doing a master's right now, right? How's that going? Yes. I mean, it's going. Um, <laughs> so I started um, in September, um, but I'm doing it part time. So it's going to take me two years instead of one. So obviously I can keep working at the same time. Bummer. And yeah, it's like... It's weird being back in like kind of the university system, but also it's kind of nice. I enjoy being a student again, mainly yeah. because of student discount. <laughs> so that, that is the on only reason to do a master's. Literally, that's what I've said to everyone. So, and I mean, yeah. when did you finish your undergrad? Like, because uh, you took a gap in between, right? Yeah. So I feel like I was really lucky. So I finished. I graduated two thousand nineteen just before COVID. So I still got my graduation ceremony and everything. But um, a lot of my friends graduated the following year because maybe they'd, they did like um, a four year course. And so they were stuck during COVID without like their graduation ceremony. So yeah, so then since then it's been three years. So yeah, I took a three year unintentional break. Mm, okay I mean it's quite similar quite similar Mm. to me because I I basically finished my undergraduate and decided that that was it I was done (laughs) no more I'm done I'm over it I am very over it um but but then (laughs) but then life happened and four years later I did decide to go back and do a master's um Mm. and kind of similarly to your friends I ended up finishing mine in lockdown because oh wow I kind of did it from 2019 to 2020 so I was doing my uh yeah research project in the <gasps> in the height of covid uh which wow I salute fun. you for that so thank you thank good you on much. you but <laughs> so I mean university is like a huge part of people's lives mm, in their 20s mm. um we've both kind of you are now doing your master's um, yes and we've both done an undergrad and you can spend years, you know, um, in these institutions. So we did think today we would discuss university. Right. Yes. Yes. Big so topic. <laughs> when you went to university, Hedy, or like you're like a fresh faced, little innocent first year student. Mm. Um, what was your first impression? What was it like? Oh, Oh my God, can I even remember? Um, (laughs) I think for me, the biggest kind of change for me, and I feel like it was like the study shock. So I think especially doing humanities subjects or social sciences in my case, um, especially doing those subjects, um, you're very much kind of left to your own devices. And it's very much, there's a lot of focus on like self-study, which, um, yeah, I think, one, so I did A level history, and my teacher kind of prepared me for that during my A levels, saying, you know, like, oh, you're not going to be spoon fed at university. You need to learn to kind of look after yourself and study for yourself and find the materials yourself. So I kind of already I kind of had the mindset, and so I was kind of a little bit prepared. But still, it was so shocking, like going into university and then just being like, okay, so wow, I can just do anything. But how about for you? Did you find that as well? 
or yeah it, it's true it's weird it's like you go from having all of your time managed um, mm. and this very very strict schedule at school to especially as you say with humanity subjects um the contact hours are very low yeah i think for me like it was like 10 hours or less mm. and a lot of people complain because they don't think they're getting their money's worth I mean, yeah, especially I feel I've always felt so, so bad for international students because they pay sometimes triple what we pay. And I think that is such a scam, by the way. I think it's such a con. But that's <laughs> like a whole other topic. Essentially, it's like you're paying to go and spend time by yourself in the library. Exactly. I mean, yeah. And I mean, my university had an excellent library, mm. uh, but I'm not sure if it really compensates. <laughs> So were you quite, so I guess, did you spend a lot of time in the library then? Were you quite a diligent student? I am not one of those students who would like uh, leave everything to the last minute. Whoops. I <laughs> did uh, tend to kind of like to go and work in the library, study in the library. If I had an assignment, I would kind of want to begin work on it at least two weeks before the deadline. Um, wow! And I would like allocate the first week to just research in the yeah. library, and then the second week I would be like working on drafting it. Um, <gasps> yeah, I realised I'm quite an odd breed. I didn't meet many people like me. You are such a good student. Wow! No, for me, yeah, it couldn't be like farther from my truth. Um, so <laughs> for me, I think like I barely visited the library. For me, like, um, yeah, I was like definitely an night before kind of person and but I think it's because I felt like I work better under pressure so I was like yeah I can do this um but yeah I don't think I really set foot in the library much to be honest I think because nowadays um for me anyway like a lot of um our resources and readings are online and so I would just use like there are so many various like kind of academic libraries online and so for me my kind of mantra in uni was like, if it's not online, it doesn't exist. So <laughs> It's true. But I also found that just going to the library to work was really helpful because mm. it was a change of change of space. Yeah. Because um, I don't know about you, but like I reached a, a, a wall of mm. productivity in my bedroom. Wow. Um, and so did you move out for university? Yeah, I did because I, mm. I went to Edinburgh, so I moved to a different city. What about yeah. you? Yeah. Also for me, um, this is the thing as well. So I stayed at home because I'm from London and I went to a London university. So London is just ridiculously expensive. Um, so for me, it just made sense to stay at home and I could like keep my part time job and just kind of keep my schedule. But so, yeah, for me, I feel like I was more comfortable pulling like an all nighter at home because, yeah, I feel like so I was kind of like in my nest <laughs> you know mm, so yeah so you're just yeah. staying up all night and working yeah. until that assignment is finished yeah yeah okay you're you're one of those yeah I know, like, I know you people well yeah if I'm not if I'm not sweating Red Bull I'm not doing something right so <laughs> that was like that, that was me getting through university but and what mm. about for fun what what were you doing like socially and stuff Ah, oh, so I feel like for me as well, my first year of university, I'm not going to lie, I really didn't like it. I was like, I have made a huge mistake. I shouldn't be studying this. I want to drop out. Da, 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 da. But then when I started to kind of get involved in other activities at university, like societies and stuff, I think that's when I started to truly enjoy university. And I feel like that's when I kind of got the most out of university. So yeah, like for me, I especially my, um, I started cheerleading while I was at university and I feel like it's the best thing I've ever done. Um, I continued it after I graduated and I've got back into it at like my new university. So yeah, for me, it was great. I just like dabbling in different, you know, interests yeah. and activities. But what about you? Did you get involved in any activities or societies? Okay. So vastly different. I did um the science fiction and fantasy society because oh a my god dork um wow which was a, a really funny and then um the other thing that you can do at a lot of uk universities is do an exchange year where you go abroad for oh, a yeah, year yeah yeah 
or a semester. And I did that and I went to Canada and I joined <gasps> the outdoors club in Canada and I did a lot of hiking, canoeing, wow. Yeah. It was pretty That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. So how was Canada then? Uh it was awesome. It was very cold. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um and also it was very hot. So when I arrived I had like I'd I only thought of Canada as cold. Mm. Um and I had not brought any warm weather clothing and it was like thirty five degrees and I only had jeans, boots, wow. coats. Um so the like the first thing I bought in Canada was a swimsuit. Rather hilariously. I, I love that. Like I would never like that would be the last thing I would think to buy if I was visiting Canada. So <laughs> Now, it was awesome. It was awesome. Did you go anywhere, um, like, as part of an exchange? Yeah, so I did, like, a shorter exchange. I didn't do a full year, just, like, a shorter term. Um, So my first year, I went to China. And in my second year, I went to Korea. And that was great as well, because also just, like, meeting new people. And I think as well, to be honest, nowadays, university, I feel like now it's, like, a a lot about networking. So Mm -hmm. you know how they say it's, like, it's who you know, not what you know. So I think, like, even just doing these kind of exchange programs really helps to you know expand your LinkedIn contacts so. oh I hate LinkedIn oh I haven't logged in in a while but yeah but it's very true and of course also just making some like really good friends that you'll take yeah. with you for the rest of your life you know um wow it is it's it's a big part of of what shapes us like university oh and I think on that note Charlotte on that very positive note yeah I feel like we'll call it a day so yeah, thank you. And I th- I will try really hard to not ha- pull any all-nighters during my master's, but I cannot make any promises. Uh, yeah, and if you need any, any motivational speeches, you know, I'm right here, right here thank for you. you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, this was awesome. Thanks, Hedy. Amazing. Oh, thank you. See you, see you, see next, you next time. time. Bye. Bye.